Welcome to another episode of Pistons of Fury. In this episode, I show you how to adjust the caster on your car. Okay, in this episode, um, I'm just wrapping up a couple things. Um, I'm going to be getting this car registered. i got to take it on the road. It's got to be reliable. Um, I don't want to die, most importantly. Which is, oh, it's, a, it's a good thing. Um, so what I need to do is actually, when I, um, when I actually did the alignment on the car, um, if you remember, I have these upper control arms that are adjustable. So this is a 66 Mustang and 67 and up. They went to the adjustable ones. I bought some aftermarket adjustable control arms. And I really wrenched on the control arm on the passenger side to get my caster in spec. Um, I noticed that, so you can kind of see here, um, this front gap here, you know, you maybe have like a finger width gap between the tire and the front of the wheel well. Um, on the other side, it's like two fingers. So I don't like how much I had to wrench on that. I feel like I'm creating tension in my suspension. Hey, that rhymes, suspension tension. Um, anyway, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to jack this up, I'm going to remove uh, a shim from the front of the control arm, the front bolt. There's two bolts, two sets of shims. I'm going to remove one from the front. I believe from what I've read that that changes the angle so that I should get some positive caster um, as a result of that. And then I can back off my control arm, reduce the suspension tension, trademark that. and. Um, and then we should be good to go. So I'll have to do a little bit of realignment here on the front side, but it shouldn't be too bad. And then I'll get to a few other things and uh, then we should be, should be roadworthy. So we can get started. Okay, so the idea here is you have uh, this upper control arm and you have shims behind it. I went through some of this in my initial alignment video, but the idea with uh, caster, camber, you add and remove shims in an equal way and that brings your top of your wheel out or in. That's pretty straightforward. Caster is a little more, a little more mysterious in that if you add shims to the front, it takes your upper ball joint, pushes it back effectively taking your lower ball joint and moving it forward as the suspension moves. So um, what we need to do is I have my strut rod compressed. I want to decompress that a little bit. So I'm gonna add some shims to my front upper control arm, move the ball joint back. I can release the tension on that strut rod and then I'll realign and check everything and hopefully we get close to spec. I'm just gonna kind of guess here and throw a bunch of shims up front 
and see how far we can get. Um, I think these are all the guys that fell out. So some of them fell out when I loosened it and then I'm gonna be adding the whole bunch. So we'll see what happens with this. So, um, that worked out pretty well. Um, I was definitely able to take some tension off of, off of this guy right here, the, uh, the adjustable strut rod. Um, I could feel it as soon as I loosened those bolts, it just kind of relieved a lot of the tension. So it's at a good setting right now. It's a little shorter than the driver's side. Um, but let's see, I wanted to come in here and do this. So it looks like if I had to guess, I would say we've maybe got three quarters of an inch to an inch gap on the passenger side. And then we've got, yeah, <laughs> a little bit more, I guess like an inch and a quarter on the driver's side. So definitely a bigger gap. Um, I'd like them to be more the same, but I'm getting no rubbing or anything. I don't think the suspension is binding as much so yeah i think we're gonna go with that for now i need to drive this car maybe a couple hundred miles see how the suspension settles um it's one of the things i did notice is i checked the camber really quickly in between my caster adjustments and um i think i zeroed out the camber on this passenger side so i need to see if driving it kind of gets it back into a negative camber state as the the wheels settle and suspension settles again so um yeah, that's it for this part of the project, uh, or this part of the episode, I guess. That's fixed. I feel more comfortable about that. I feel a little bit safer driving that in a non-binding state, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do next, and we'll be back. All right, so that's that's pretty much a wrap for this episode. Um, you know, not, not too much in, in the way of content. Um, you know, I'm getting to the point in the project where... Fortunately, there's not too much left to be done. Um, so for me, you know, in, in moving forward the project, it's gonna be driving the car, uh, working out the little things that are left. You know, I still have some little interior stuff that I have to do, um, mainly the headliner and the dash pad, but those are actually big ticket expense items. Um, you know, unfortunately, the channel's not to a point yet where, uh, where I can get some sponsorships for those, so they may wait. I don't know, we'll see. Um, 
But anyway, I'm getting to the point where I just need to drive it, just need to start working some stuff out. Um, so this episode was just getting that caster fixed that's been bugging me, that's been making me feel uneasy about driving it, so that's cool, because now I can just kind of feel free to drive it anywhere. So um, yeah, registration, driving, that'll probably be the next video, um, seeing this thing on the road out in the wild. So that's cool. If you follow me on Instagram, um, you kind of know that this car is already registered, but uh, you know, in, in the way of this episode, I'm just kind of plotting things along the timeline and then pushing them out there as I can. So sorry for the lag in, in those two things. Uh, but anyway, if you like the channel, uh, please subscribe. Um, throw me a like for the video if you like this video. I hope you found it helpful. Learn a little bit about caster and camber. Um, anyway, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you next week. Thanks.